morning everyone Kathy here from Dirty Booty Soaps and I'm getting ready today to do my second kids class at the library and so I'm, I'm making up our uh, whipped topping recipe for the top of our ice cream cone soaps that we're doing now, I've already made the cones they're out of uh, melt and pour uh, I'll show you here uh, when we're we're done what they look like but uh, right now for the whipped topping I'm doing this in two batches so the recipe is um, I've got one pound here of melt and pour soap base and what I'm using is the crafters choice melt and pour soap base basic goat milk and then also I have one cup of the um, foaming bath whip from Crafter's Choice as well. Uh, so you've got one pound of the melt and pour, one cup of the foaming bath whip, and then I have here about a quarter cup, and this is what I use. You could also use, I'm sure, glycerin as well, but I've got this seventh generation natural dish liquid. It is um, free and clear hypoallergenic there's no fragrance or anything in this stuff uh, so it's not going to compete with any fragrance you're then going to add to it um, today's class we are doing apple themes so I've also got apple sage fragrance oops from brambleberry so that's what I'm using and then uh, our Kermit green mica so I'm going to go ahead and we're going to get started and I'll go over this recipe again at the end of the video but I'm going to melt this down and then we'll get started over at our mixer. So we'll be right back. Alright so here I've got my KitchenAid stand mixer and I've put in my one cup of foaming bath whip. I've melted down our one pound of melt and pour and I'm just going to add that in. A couple little lumps in there, but that's okay because they'll melt. And this is a super easy, super safe project for kids because you don't have to deal with the lye. And uh, it's just uh, really nice. And then I'm going to add in my other soap, my liquid soap, and we'll get started whipping. So I'm going to raise this up and start it on low, just to kind of get everything going together here. Now slowly I'll turn the speed up. And then I'm going to really crank it up on high, so I'm going to put you on pause and I'll bring you back when it's all whipped up. So you can see we're getting a good whipping here. I'm not done yet, but I just want to show you. You see how thick that's getting? Really nice and thick. But you want to keep whipping until you get this volume to really increase and get lots of air incorporated into it. So we're going to keep going here a bit. Okay, so we're doing pretty good here. I'm going to add in my fragrance oil. And I'm putting in about an ounce of fragrance. Let's kick that up a notch. Now, see, you don't want to do more than what this recipe calls for. I almost thought about doubling it, but I knew. I'd be reaching maximum capacity with my mixer. What I'm going to do here actually is I'm going to tap this out just to stir my bowl a bit. Look how thick and fluffy that is. I'm just going to set this off over here and just scrape my bowl a bit. Look at that. It's nice and fluffy. Perfect. So we're going to color this 
we're going to color this green. Okay, don't yell at me because I have my finger in there. All right. So we're going to put this back on. I'm going to put my mixer back in here. Not that easy to do once it's whipped, but anyway. And we're going to put in our mica, and I'm going to kind of tuck it down in here because I don't want a big cloud. I was going to do I was going to do a swirl, but I think in I'm just going to do it all all green. Today, I think it'll be pretty. So I'm going to kind of just kind of bury that. Like I said, I don't want a big poof when this mixer kicks in. No, I got a little poof. I don't know why that's clicking. I didn't snap it in. Alright, so I got that kind of mixed. We're going to do the rest by hand. So, we'll bring you over here just to get a better view move with me come with me follow me move stuff around here so I don't knock over my coffee hopefully anything's possible still all right I'm gonna get you set up here and we'll bring you around this way all right good enough so you can see we're a nice shade of green, which is what I wanted. I'm going to clean this off for now. I do have to make another batch, but so I won't do it like super good. But like I said, it gets it gets so thick that it gets a little hard for the mixer to keep up. There's my paper towel. So was that? Oh. Anyway, you see this is like, oh gosh, it's like fluff. It's so wonderful. It smells good. I might have, could have used a little more fragrance maybe, but. I think maybe I'll just drizzle a little bit more in. So maybe go an ounce and a half on this apple fragrance. And we're just gonna we're just gonna mix that in by hand. Now I use this, like I said, to whip uh, to top the kids' projects. And um, You see how it is now, nice and fluffy, but the more it sits out after you pipe it, the harder it gets, and you can speed it up. You can speed up the hardening by setting it in the refrigerator for a little bit. So, anyway, let's see. Mmm, nice apple-y. Mm. Apple fragrance. Probably blocking all my good light here. But anyway, you can kind of see you're going for that nice thick whip. So that's my that's my recipe. And then what I do is I, I put it in these uh, piping bags. I get my little ball in here and just kind of loop it over. And today we're doing pretty tall cones. Usually I don't put this much in, but last week I noticed it was a little scant. So 
We're doing two big spoonfuls. I might cut down on this just a hair, because that looks like an awful lot. So I'm just going to squeeze some out here. I think that's good. I think. Hard to tell, you know, until you get to piping on a, a cone, it's hard to tell how much to put in. But I think that's good. These are for the older kids, uh, the 8 to 12 today. Last week we had the, I think, 4 to 7 or so. And then I, I would put a little twist tie around the top so that all that soap doesn't come back out at them and get all over their hands. So I've got to prep up 25 of these bags. Actually, I'm doing more because I need one for myself. And then I do an extra one or two um, for backup, just in case something happens. But uh, So that's, that's what I got going. Um, now that I know how much to put in one of these, uh, I won't be squeezing out. I usually fill it and squeeze it so the, the batter, uh, the frosting comes down to about the tip, not into the tip. So I'm going to get to prepping these and... Uh, get ready for my class there. I'm going to have at least another batch, probably maybe two or three, uh, to do of this. So that's my morning chore for the day. Uh, again, our, our recipe for this, this particular batch, to get this much, is one pound of melt and pour soap. Um, I used the goat's milk base uh, from Crafter's Choice. Uh, one cup of foaming bath whip and a quarter cup of, I use the, the free and clear dish soap, um, but you can use uh, glycerin as well. Just make sure it's unscented, you know, good stuff. Like I said, I got the hypoallergenic. I went all the way and got this stuff. It's not very expensive. I got it at Walmart. So, and then uh, my fragrance, I'd say put about an ounce and a half of fragrance in, depending. And... Uh, your color of choice if you want color if you don't want color don't put it in so that's our recipe and uh, I'm gonna get busy filling bags and making more and happy Monday to all of you so we're gonna have fun at the kids class and uh, we'll catch you on the next video thanks for watching bye